Good evening, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Saturday, November the 1st, and tonight we celebrate the Eve of All Saints. At the scripture for this service, Psalm 34, and Wisdom, chapter 3, verse 1 through 9. And please join me in singing verse 6 of Psalm 95 to the tune of Pure Nobis. All praise to you, eternal God, and Jesus Christ, our Savior, Holy Spirit, three in one, our light and our salvation. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. together. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts, and we have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, I bless you at all times. Your praise always on my lips. Alleluia, Psalm 34. And please recite it together with me. Alleluia, I bless you at all times. Your praise always on my lips. My soul boasts in you. The humble shall hear and be glad. O saints, glorify the Most High with me, and let us exalt God's name together. I sought you, my God, and you heard me, and you delivered me from all my fears. We looked upon you and were enlightened, and our faces were not ashamed. I cried out, and you heard me, and saved me from all my troubles. Your angel encamps around those who fear you, and delivers them O oh, taste and see that God is good, and blessed are they that trust in God. O oh, saints, fear your God, for there is no want for those that fear God. The young lions suffer lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek you, my God, shall not want any good thing. Come, children, listen to me, and I will teach you the fear of God most high. Who among you loves life? and wants many days to enjoy it. Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking lies. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of God are upon the righteous, and God's ears are open to their cry. Your face, O God, is against them that do evil, to remove their memory from the earth. The righteous cry and you hear, and deliver them from all their troubles, you are close to them that are brokenhearted, and you save those who have a contrite spirit. Many are the troubles of the righteous, but you deliver them from all their afflictions. They keep all their bones. No, not one of them is broken. And evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. You redeem the lives of your servants, and none that trusts in you shall be punished. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. I bless you at all times. Your praise always on my lips. Alleluia. Here is a lesson from the wisdom of Solomon. Chapter 3, beginning at verse 1. But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of God. No torment will ever touch them. 
In the eyes of the foolish, they seemed to have died, and their departure was thought a disaster, and their going from us to be their destruction. But they are at peace, for though in the spirit of others they were punished, their hope is full of immortality. Having been disciplined a little, they will receive great good, because God has tested them and found them worthy of himself. Like gold in the furnace, tried them, and like a sacrificial burnt offering, he accepted them. In the time of their visitation, they will shine forth and will run like the sparks through the stubble. They will govern nations and rule over peoples, and the Most High will reign over them forever. And those who trust in God will understand truth, and the faithful will abide with God in love, because grace and mercy are upon his holy ones, and he watches over his elect. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, and hide us under the shadow of your wings. Let's sing together. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. We exalt you, Most High God. You have delivered us from our fears and afflictions. Save us from evil and grant us your peace. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Alleluia, O tender God, you have seduced me. And I was seduced, alleluia. And the almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah.